Hey guys, I'm back with another design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Today I'm using Neat and Tangled Beavers A stamp set with coordinating dies. This stamp set is so sweet. It does have an I love you sentiment. However, I wanted to make this more of a Valentine's Day card, so I'm bringing in Lawn Fawn's Happy 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 add-on to use Happy Valentine's Day. I'm also going to be trying Tombow Dual Brush Pens. I purchased these from Hobby Lobby. They are the Portrait Palette. I wanted to try these out. Hobby Lobby had a lot of different color collections. However, aside from the one I purchased, the ones on Amazon are like 10 bucks cheaper. So since this, the Portrait Palette was the same in Hobby Lobby as on Amazon, I went ahead and purchased this at Hobby Lobby and thought I would try them out before buying any more colors because I have that full set syndrome where I have to have the whole set. So if you have these markers, let me know how you like them. I really like them a lot. Um, the only thing I can compare them to is Zig Mar uh, my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. And I'm almost to the point of saying I think I like them more than the Zigs. So let me know your thoughts on how you like them. I stamped these images out on some Canson XL watercolor paper with my Versafine Onyx Black ink. Here I'm dabbing off his pants with clean water to get rid of that color. I was about to color them brown, but realized, oh, those are, are, those are his pants. I also heat embossed my images with clear embossing powder. Whenever I do any kind of water coloring, I like to add that barrier. It just gives me a little more freedom to not be as careful and going out of the lines. Um, since I did only get the portrait palette, I did have to bring in a few of my zig markers to add some color. But these were perfect because the portraits have that light pink and brown. This is, was the perfect stamp set to try the markers out. It was kind of a happy accident. So I am just, I did stamp these images twice. I was only going to make one card. I was unsure at the time of coloring what I was going to do for cards. But I did want to stamp them twice just in case I did not like the markers and how they were coloring on the watercolor paper. Um, and that way I could, you know, start over and not have to re-stamp my images. I did watch some videos with the markers and someone had said don't use watercolor paper. I guess if you're blending them with each other that would make sense, but these markers worked beautifully on the watercolor paper. So anyway, I'm going to continue coloring these sweet little images. I truly adore this stamp set. Uh, I'm rarely impressed, unfortunately. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad, but um, you know, I like things. Oh, that's cute, whatever, but it's a rare time when I'm like really blown over by a stamp set, and this is definitely one of those times where I love this stamp set, and I love this image with her holding the mouse. It's just so sweet. So I added some pink cheeks to this little beaver, and the pink ran. So here I'm just kind of going over it to kind of fix up the little error I made. You can't really notice it on video, but in person you could, definitely. I was, uh, did I already say, I was only going to make one card, but decided to go ahead and make two. So I went ahead and die cut those images out. I am bringing in Pink and Main's My Heart 6x6 six six paper. I recently hauled this in the Not Too Shabby Shop. And here are the two pieces I chose to use. My card bases are A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. And I cut my pattern paper down a fourth of an inch, quarter of an inch smaller and going ahead and adhering them. Um, after I cut out my images, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make two cards and use all the images I colored. Since I had an idea of what I was gonna do at this point. I have two small pieces of white cardstock and I'm bringing in the Stampin' Up! Pinewood Planks Dynamics Texture Embossing Folder. And it creates this awesome wood grain texture. I love it. Um, I don't know what size that white panel is. I kind of eyeballed it to what size I wanted them 
probably what close to half an inch, three quarters of an inch smaller than my card panel. Probably close to half an inch. Um, I go ahead and pop those up with some stampin' uh, some foam tape. And then I pop all my images up with some stampin' dimensionals. These cards do have quite a bit of dimension, but I was okay with that. I like dimensional cards. So go ahead and adhere those. And sorry, I'm kind of off to the right. And here I go back and again, fix that little beaver. I smoothing out some of the watercoloring. You can see a little bit of lines and I did not like that. So go ahead and adhere these two little guys or this guy and gal. So cute. They're big old tails. <laughs> Go ahead and use glue dots to add a little heart in his hand and a heart here and there. I did do three hearts and add a heart to that little guy. I've taken some scrap black cardstock and I'm going to stamp out Happy Valentine's Day. These are two separate stamps, but they butt up right perfectly right up against each other. So I had some leftover scraps of glitter paper and I used Lawn Fawn Scallop Dye. This was a dye that came out last year. I'll have it linked below. But I cut out some glitter cardstock using that scallop dye because I wanted to stick it under my sentiment. I kind of struggled with do I choose black cardstock for the sentiment because this is a Valentine's Day card or do I choose a lighter color but I went with the black because I really wanted to, it to stand out. I love black cardstock with white sentiments. And I thought just to kind of make myself feel better, the glitter added a, a little bit of a nice touch to it. So I just have that scallop portion peeking out from the bottom. And then I go ahead and trim them up using my little mini tonic trimmer. which I love. This trimmer is so handy to have. So I don't have to pull out my big trimmer. And it, it's a guillotine, so it cuts beautifully. If I had it to do over, I would never get a, like a Fiskars. Uh, it would always be the guillotine trimmer. They're just the best, in my opinion. So I trim them down. I go ahead and add some Stampin' Dimensionals to pop these up. And then I go ahead and adhere these down. And then I do bring in my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen to sparkle up the hearts. And then that will complete these cards. So I hope you guys really enjoyed them. I am in love with them. They're so cute. Um, Jamie does have this in her shop, this stamp set, as well as she just got in the doodle bug. Oh, I was stalking her shop all this morning waiting for her to post the doodle bug so I could place an order. So definitely head over there and check out her shop. Um, don't forget to use coupon code crazy paper chick to save 10%. Your support is appreciated. And I think that's it. Let me know if you have any questions about the supplies I used and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.